hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have another natural hair video for you guys i'm going to show you how i did this adorable twisted hairstyle on my natural hair very cute for the summer for festivals barbecues whatever but yeah i'm going to show you guys how i did it so if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below turn on your notification bell and let's jump straight into the video Okay, so I've done half of my head and I'm going to show you guys what I do with the other half. I'm going to show you guys how I do the parting and everything. Literally what I did on the right side, I'm about to do the exact same thing on the left side. So we're going to start with the parting. So you want to start um, with the front parting. So you want to do kind of like a triangular um, section in front. We're going to be doing the bangs with those sections. So two on the left, two on the right. I already did the two on the right. And then you're going to have a section at the back from ear to ear. So from one ear right across the crown of your head to the other ear. You're going to section your hair like that. So the back we're going to do regular two strand twists. And the front we're going to do flat twists. Okay, so I'm just going to start from the back doing my regular two strand twists. I think I had about 32 twists at the back, 16 on one side and 16 on the other side. About that, between 30 to 40 twists at the back. And then when I'm done, I just simply put my beads at the end. So I take a hairpin, put the beads on it, pull it through, and use the end of my hair to wrap the bottom black bead. I get my beads off of um, from the beauty supply store or um, AliExpress. The brown beads are cheaper on AliExpress. So I'm just simply doing two strand twists, nothing crazy, just twist and bead. My hair is already moisturized, so yes, um, it, make sure your hair is moisturized before you do this hairstyle because it's a protective style, so you want to make sure that your hair is thoroughly moisturized before you do your hair. So I'm done doing the back and this is what it looks like. So these are all my twists at the back. Now for the front, we're going to do the um, bang section first. So I'm going to do two um, flat twists coming forward in my face. So I split that section into two. Now, um, whenever I do my flat twists or cornrows or anything like that, you guys know I always separate the pieces before I start to flat twist. So basically, you know how when you're flat twisting or doing cornrows, you pick up pieces of hair and add it to the twist as you're going along. So to make things easier for me and for less breakage, I usually separate the section into the pieces I'm going to be picking up as I flat twist. I separate them into left and right pieces so I can keep track and I literally just pick them up one by one as I flat twist. So this helps to reduce the chances of your hair tangling while you're flat twisting. It helps to reduce breakage while you're flat twisting and it just makes the flat twist come out nicer and cleaner and it makes the flat twisting process much easier. So that is basically how I do my flat twist. That's how I do my cornrows. Yeah, I just separate my pieces before I actually flat twist. You see the flat twist look, looks very, very clean and nice. So now I'm just doing the second flat twist. Again, I separated the pieces before I started flat twisting. So I'm just going to be picking up those pieces as I flat twist. Okay, so now we're done doing the bangs and as you can see my twist on the right are shredded and my twist on the left That's because I just freshly did my twist on the left. So they're still like stretched But they're eventually gonna shrink to the um to be the same size as the ones on the right Now we're going to do the this portion of our hair So please pay attention to the section. So you're gonna do a section from the edge right to about halfway down at the back Splitting it into two equal sides. So it's a straight part. And then for that side, you're going to split it again. Like this. Into two sides. So one side is going to have about three to four flat twists. And the other side is also going to have about three to four flat twists as well. So I'm just putting those two out of the way first. Now we're going to split this part into about four, three or four, depending on the thickness of your hair. I'm doing four. So 
So whenever I do my sections, I just do like loose twist and keep the section out of the way. I like to do my sections first before I actually start my main flat twisting. So for this portion, we're going to split it into three. So one, two, and then three. So again, just loosely flat twist them and keep them out of the way. After we're done doing the sectioning, that's when I'm going to actually start doing the flat twist. So now I'm just showing you guys all the sections. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now we're going to start flat twisting. Again, I'm separating the pieces before I start to flat twist. And I'm just going to do the flat twist going upwards towards my crown. Please, if you have any questions about the process, um, the flat twisting, sectioning, whatever, just ask me down below in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer. So altogether, I'm doing um, seven flat twists. Okay, so I'm done flat twisting and this is what this side looks like. Now we're going to do this side. Again, we're going to split it into two. So from that point there, down. And we're going to split that part into four. So split it down the middle and then split both sides into two. So you have four sections. one two three and four so for that part i split it into three one two and three so now i'm just going to do the flat twist Okay, so I'm basically done doing the last flat twist and that's basically how you do this hairstyle. I'm going to come show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. So this is what the finished look looks like. I absolutely love this hairstyle. It's such a cute, adorable, summer protective style. And it's very versatile. There are so many different ways you can style this. When I had it in, I wore it in so many different ways. Unfortunately, I didn't film a styling video. But I plan on doing this hairstyle again. So I'm going to film a styling video when I do it again. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below on my face on the screen. Also, don't forget to watch my other natural hair videos. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!